solve a numerical example based on a Taylor series expansion. So, what is the question? Means uh, find a Taylor series expansion of a FZ equal problem example. Find find Taylor series expansion. Taylor series expansion series. Find Taylor series of function at z equal one upon z minus one to z minus three. About the point z equal four. About z equal four. So what is the solution? Solution is the how we find the solution. We start from here. Solution. So we know that. What is the Taylor series expansion? Taylor series expansion of uh, any function is about f z equal f z equal summation n equal zero to infinite a n z minus z zero to power n. But z zero is about in this case. What is the f z here? f z equal f z equal one upon Z minus one into Z minus three, and what is the Z zero? Z zero is a four. So first we find out what partial fraction of this one means a one upon Z minus one into Z minus three. Z minus three equal what? K divided by Z minus one plus B divided by Z minus three. So, what is the value of a and b? If we simplify this one, then what is the value? A plus b. Here, if this become a z, uh, a z and b z, a plus b equal what? Zero. And minus three uh, a, three a minus b equal one. So, what is the value of a? A equal minus b. So, minus b from this one. This implies that k equal what? K equal minus b. So this become minus plus three b minus b equal one. What is the value for b? B equal one by two. Then k equal what? Minus one by two. So k equal minus one by two. So this one is the value. So what we write here? We write one upon. We write here, not here. We write here. One upon z minus one into z minus three equal what? Minus one by two z minus this one is the two z minus one plus one by two and this one is a z minus three. This is a partial fraction. So now where the function is not analytic. So if we closely observe this function f z equal One upon z minus one into z minus three at z equal one and z equal three function is not analytic. So what here we write if we draw this one and what we are going to find out about z equal four, about z equal four. So this one is a z equal one, this one is a two, this one is a three, and this one is a four, four. So this one is a one, two, three. And four. At this point, function is not analytic. And at this point, function is not analytic. Z equal one, and Z equal three. And here we try to find out a uh, Taylor series expansion about Z equal four, about this point. So, what is the maximum circle that we draw without including the point where the function is not analytic? So here, this one is a circle. This one is a circle. This one is a circle. So here, ah, uh, first we find the Taylor series expansion using the expansion of this function, and second one using the derivatives. We find the Taylor series expansion using the derivatives. So here, now if we write this one, this one is a minus one by two. Inside, just one by two. Outside, 
Now this become one upon one upon z minus one, z minus one. So here we try to write this one in term of a four. So what we write here? Here we try to write what? If we write this one, this becomes z minus four and z minus four, then this become what? This become plus three. Z minus four plus three become what? Z minus one. This one is the first one plus one by two inside one upon the z minus four plus one. Then this become what? Z minus three. Z minus three. Now what is our aim here? Minus one by twice this one here. Z minus four mod of a z minus four. Mod of a z minus four here. This one is the center, and radius is about radius is about one. So three is about three is greater than one. So what we write this? We write z minus four by three. So here three we come outside. One by three outside. Inside what will happen? Ah, uh, one plus z minus four by three. This one is a term. Z minus four by three, three outside one, and this one is a plus one by twice, and inside what will happen here? Here Z minus four plus one, this one is a Z minus three. So what is the value of this one is a one, and Z mod of a Z minus four, mod of a Z minus four. Here we write Z minus four as it is like this one. So here we write what? One upon one plus. Z minus four, Z minus four. So now we expand this one and try to write here. If we expand this one and try to write here, then what is the value? This F Z become F Z equal. If we write F Z equal what? F Z equal first term minus one by twice into three. This one is a three into this become one plus z minus four by three inverse. This one is the first term and second term become plus one by twice and this become one plus z minus four z minus four inverse inverse inverse. So this one is the basically. Here we write why z minus four. Z minus four is a what? Z minus four is obviously less than one. Mod of a z minus four in this reason is a less than one for. Or what is the radius of a convergence? Mod of a z minus four is a less than one. So this one is that. So if we expand this one, then what is the value? F z equal minus one by six minus one by six outside. One by six outside, or you may write one by two outside. So this will become minus one to power n, and this one summation in term of a summation. If we write in term of a summation, what is the value? Value for this one is what? Summation. Summation n equal zero to infinite minus one to power n z minus four divided by three. To power what? To power n. This one is the first term. What is the second term? Plus one by twice inside summation. Summation. What is the value? Value minus one to power n. Z minus z minus four to power n. So this one is the what? This one is the. Taylor series expansion. So you may simplify this one also. So after simplification, what is the value? If we try to write this one after simplification here, what is the value? We try to write here. Then so what is the value? F Z become F Z become F Z equal F Z equal one minus one by six. Minus one by six into summation, summation minus one to power n, and z 
z minus 4 to power n divided by 3 to power n plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 summation minus 1 to power n z minus 4 to power n z minus 4 to power n so this one is a value so if we <coughs> take outside from here this become minus 1 by 2 uh, this become minus 1 by 2 uh, inside the summation if we try to write inside the summation what is the value value become minus 1 by 2 outside inside summation summation first term is a common so this one is a minus 1 to power n and into 1 by so if we take 1 by 2 outside 1 by 2 outside here 1 by 2 outside 1 by 2 outside then this become minus 1 to power n 1 upon 3 to power n plus 1 with a minus sign with minus sign plus plus what plus this one is a minus 1 to power 1 n 1 upon 3 to power n plus 1 divided by plus 1 this one is a what this one become z minus 4 to power n this one is a what this one is a degree is expansion so this one is a using the what using the expansion and using the concept and here what is the reason of a convergence reason, reason of a convergence is z minus 4 is less than 1 this one is the reason of a convergence 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 and what is the equation of this circle the equation of this circle is a mod of z minus 4 is less than 1 because centered at 4 and what is the radius radius is less than 1 because here 3 at 3 the function is not analytic so maximum radius of this circle is what maximum radius of this circle is a 1 so here z minus 4 by 3 is less than 1 and z minus 4 mod of z minus 4 is also less than 1 so be able to expand this one binomially binomial expansion after binomial expansion be able to find out this one so if you put n equal to 0 here n equal 0 here then what is the value n equal 0 then what is the value this become 1 upon 3 plus 1 n equal 0 this becomes 0 and this becomes 0 so what is the value a0 become what a0 become 1 by 2 1 by 2 and this become uh, this become what this become minus and this become plus so here this one is a minus and this one is a plus so this one is a minus basically the beta inside so 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 3 plus 1 this one is a minus 1 by 3 plus 1 so this one is a what what is the value value become this one is a 3 minus 1 so this one is a 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 so what is the value? Value become 1 by 3. So what is the value of a 0? 1 by 3. Now similarly we able to find out what? A1, A2 and A3 like this one. So why here we find A0? Now we try to find out the Taylor series expansion using the derivative. And try to show that with the help of a Taylor series expansion that we find with the help of a derivative and the Taylor series expansion that we find with the expansion of a function binomially both uh, have a same value that's why here we calculated what is the value of a0 the value of a0 is what 1 by 3 similarly we able to find out what a1 a2 a3 now here if we try to write if we try to find out what with the help of a derivative so this one is f z. This one is f z. So what is the value of f dash z? f dash z become what? f dash z become minus time of a 1 by 2. What is the uh, integral uh, differentiation of a 1 upon z minus 1? z minus 1 to power minus 1. So this become plus and this become z minus 1 square. Plus 1 by 2. And, and it's become easy if we write a what? 1 by 2 outside. So if we write 1 by 2 outside, then it's become more easier to find out the 
derivative. So this one is a derivative of uh, this become one upon z minus one square minus uh, minus yeah here we write a plus here minus one upon z minus three square. This one is the word. This one is a uh, f dash z. Similarly, we find the f double dash z. F double dash is a one by twice outside. And this one is a what? This one is a minus 2 divided by z minus 1 whole cube. And this become minus minus plus plus twice upon z minus 3 whole cube. This one is a twice. This one is a twice. This one is also a twice. So this one. So what is the value of a? What is the Taylor series expansion in term of a derivative? In term of a derivative, Taylor series expansion is a f z equal uh, summation n equal 0 to infinite a z minus z 0 to power n where well, a n is a what? a n is a a n equal f n z 0 divided by what? factorial n divided by factorial n so here what is the value of a n? a n is this one so we expand if this we expand this one f z equal if n equal 0 then this becomes a0 and what is the value of a0 a0 is a f of 0 z0 means what is the value of this one if we write here not a 0 if we write directly value of a by putting n equal 0 this becomes 0 the derivative means a function is a what f z0 f z0 plus f dash z0 z minus z0 to power 1 plus f double dash z0 upon factorial 2 z minus z0 to square and similarly what is the nth term fn z0 upon factorial n z minus z0 to power n. Now we put the value of what? f of z0 by putting what? z equal z0 here. z0 is what? z0 is a 4. Z0 is a 4. So 1 upon 4 minus 1, 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3 become 1, 4 minus 1 become what? 3. So what is the value of FZ0? So if we write here, if we write here, what is the value of R? And we remember the, what is the value of A0? The value of A0 is a 1 by 3. So here if we write, if we write here, if we write here, what is the value of FZ0 by putting z equal 4, fz0 become what? fz0 become 1 by 3. And f dash z0, f dash z0 means uh, by putting what? By putting here z equal 4, so this become 1 by twice inside 1 upon 4 minus 1, 3 square 9 minus 1 upon 4 minus 3 means uh, 1 square, so 1. So what is the value? Value become 1 by twice into 1 by 9 and this become minus 9. So this become minus 9 and 1, 8. So this become minus 8 divided by 9 and this become minus 4 by 9. This one is the value of f dash at 0. Similarly, we find the f double dash at 0. f double dash at 0 uh, means uh, 1 by twice. This one is a minus twice upon 4 minus 1 cube plus twice upon 4 minus 3 cube. And if we simplify them, just be able to find out what? Be able to find out the value of f double dash at 0. I have already noted down the value of f double dash at 0. What is the value of f double dash at 0? The value of f double dash at 0 is a 26 by 27. This one is about 26 by 27. So now, if you put the values of f z, f dash z, f double dash z zero here in this expression, then what is the f z? F z become what? One by three minus four by nine z minus z zero plus twenty six by twenty seven z minus z zero whole square. What is that? This one is a up to f number of term. So if we closely ask the, the Taylor series expansion by using the derivative and Taylor series expansion using the binomial expansion of a function, binomial expansion of a, means I will be discussed about this one 
and we find the value of a zero by the Taylor series of expansion using the binom uh, binomially. Then the value of a zero is a one by three, and here also the value of a zero is a one by three. So this one is a Taylor series expansion. How we find the Taylor series expansion using the derivative as well as how we find the Taylor series expansion uh, using the binomial expansion. Now. There is a question: What is the region of a convergence, and what is the radius of a convergence? If we closely observe this expression, this function, this function is not analytic at z equal one and z equal three, and we try to find out our Taylor series expansion about z equal four. So here we search a region where the function is analytic. No any point where the function is not analytic. So this one is the largest region. This one is the largest region where the function is about function is analytic. So What is this region? This region is a mod z minus four is less than one. So, what is the radius of a convergence? If we talk about the radius of this one, what is the radius of this one? Radius of this one is about one. So, what is the radius of a convergence of all this? In this question, radius of a convergence, region of a convergence, we call what? Region of a convergence, region of a convergence, convergence. Become what? Region of convergence become mod of a z minus four is less than one. Mod of a z minus four is less than one. And what is the radius of a convergence? Radius of a convergence. Radius of convergence. Radius of a convergence is what? Radius of convergence is a one. You may also find the radius of a convergence using the expression that earlier we discussed. How to find that? Radius of a convergence. We know that the radius of a convergence by the ratio test. What is the the value of r equal limit and tends to infinite a f upon a f plus one. What is the value of a f? Earlier we discussed about the value of a f. So what is the formula? This one is the formula. R equal limit and tends to infinite a f upon a f plus one. So what is the value of a f? Uh, by the binomial expansion, we are able to find out what a n. Earlier we explained the Taylor series expansion, and what is the value of a n? A n is this one. So by putting the value of a n and a n plus one here, we find out what the value of r equal to so one. So here, either directly we also identify what is the radius of a convergence. We identify radius of a convergence is a one, and radius of a convergence is a what? Mod of a z minus four is less than one. And in this way, also be able to find out the radius of a convergence once we have a value of what? We have a value of a n. We have a value of a n. Once we have a value of a n, means a summation n equals zero to infinite a n z minus z zero to power n. If we have a value of a n, then be able to find out the radius of a convergence using the ratio test. Limit n tends to infinite a r upon a n plus one. Then be able to find out the radius of a convergence. This one is a how we solve a. How we solve a any numerical problem uh, of any function means uh, we find a Taylor series expansion of any function about any point. Example, what is the point? Point Lorentz series. Lorentz series. Lorentz series of f z equal one upon. About the point, about the point, that it was one. So what is the question? Question is the point Lorentz series expansion of a function f z equal one upon z plus one, z plus two whole square, z plus twice. Basically, this one z twice. This one is twice. Z plus two whole square about the point z equal one. And we know that. Uh, What is the Lorentz series expansion? What is the maximum number of a Lorentz series expansion? We able to find means uh, what is the maximum number of a anonymous region where the function is about analytic. So here, uh, what are the points where the function is not analytic? So solution. So first we find out what partial fraction of this one. What is the partial fraction of this one? F z equal what? F z equal one upon z plus one minus one upon z plus two twice minus one upon z plus twice whole square. This one is what? This one is a 
partial fraction partial fraction of a response 1 upon z plus 1 z plus 2 whole square so f that equal 1 upon z plus 1 minus 1 upon z plus 2 whole square minus 1 upon z plus 2 whole square so first we decide what are the possible reason where we uh, find a large size expansion of a this function about z equal 1 so what is the function what is the reason so if we try to plot here we try to find out the what we try to find out the reason means a large size expansion about z equal 1 so about z equal 1 so this one is a 1 this one is a 1 what are the singular points or here I am not uh, saying the singular point where here we say where the function is not analytic because here up to this level we have not defined the singular point so z equal minus 1 and z equal minus 2 be the points so this one is a minus 1 suppose this one is a minus 1 and this one is a what this one is a minus 2 these are the points where the function is not analytic so here about this point if we draw the circle what is the circle radius is a what radius is a 2 so this one is a 1 this one is a 2 this one is a 1 0 1 so here if we draw the circle this one is 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 the circle so and about this point 1 so there are three reasons but the function is what analytic so here if you closely observe this reason also this reason also this reason also this reason also so how many number of reasons here here first reason is the what first reason is the mod of a z minus 1 is a less than what less than 2 less than 2 this one is the first reason second reason is the what mod of a z minus 1 is a greater than 2 greater than 2 this one is the reason this one is the reason this one is the reason this reason this reason is a mod of a z minus 1 is a greater than 2 and less than 3 and third reason is the what third reason is a mod of a z minus 1 is a greater than 3 this one is the reason this reason this reason this reason so why we here divide in this reason function is about analytic so here we talk about the what z minus 1 is the greater than 2 and second reason is this anomalous reason second reason is this anomalous reason inside this anomalous reason function is about function is analytic so and third one is this reason so there are three reasons where we try to find out a large size expansion first one is about mod of a z minus 1 is a less than 2 second one is a mod of a z minus 1 is a less than 2 and greater than 3 and third one is a mod of a z minus 1 is a greater than 3 so one by one we find the large size expansion for the case 1 for the case 2 and for the case 3 so now case 1 here for case 1 mod of a z minus 1 is a less than 2 here we write 1 by 1 if we raise out this one, then we write 1 by 1, z minus 1 is a less than 2. So, what is the function? Function is fz and by the partial fraction, fz equal 1 upon z plus 1 minus z plus 2 minus 1 upon z plus 2 whole square. So, here fz equal 1 upon z plus 1, z plus 1, and here we write minus 1 upon z plus 2 minus 1 upon z plus 2 whole square so if we write in term of what z minus 1 so this become what 1 upon z minus 1 plus 2 this one is the become this one 1 upon z minus 1 plus 3 this one minus 1 upon z minus 1 plus 3 whole square this one now it becomes very simple what is the value of 2 upon z minus 1 z minus 1 upon 2 is about less than 1 z minus 1 upon 2 is about less than 1 
So here we write what in term of a z minus 1 upon 2 because what is our aim? Our aim is to write uh, this one mod of a z minus 1 mod of a z means less than 1 here mod of a z minus 1 by 2 is less than 1. So here we write this one 1 by twice into into 1 plus z minus 1 by 2 this one this in this way we write 2 outside then this one minus of 1 upon here if we write uh, z minus 1 is a less than 2 z minus uh, 1 is a less than 2 what is the radius here 3 and 3 in this region what is the maximum value maximum value is a what maximum value is a maximum value here this one is the reason this one is the reason basically this one is the reason here this one is the reason will be draw this one is a circle this one is a circle so we term of a here we write 3 outside then this become 1 plus z minus 1 by 3 inverse uh, inverse why because the mod of a z minus 1 is a less than 2 so less than 2 and this one is a 3 and then this become what less than 1 what is our aim our aim is to make this value less than 1 less than 1 then we find the what then we find the power series 1 upon here 3 square means a 9 outside then this become 1 plus z minus 1 by 3 and this one is square and this become minus 2 minus 2 so what is the Taylor series expansion of this one sorry not the Taylor series what is the binomial expansion of this function here we find the binomial expansion and here what is our aim make this one less than 1 make this one less than 1 make this one less than 1 so now mod of a z minus 1 by 2 is less than 1 mod of a z minus 1 by 3 is less than 1 mod of a z minus 1 by 3 is less than 1 so what is the value for this one 1 upon twice and this one is a summation minus 1 to power n z minus 1 by 2 to the power n this one is the first term second term is a what minus 1 by 3 and this one become what summation n equals 0 to infinity I am not writing this one then by default this one is n equals 0 to infinity n equals 0 to infinity and this one become minus 1 to power n z minus 1 to power 3 to power what 3 to power n and what is the expansion for this one minus 1 upon 9 into summation minus 1 to power n into n plus 1 into z minus 1 by 3 to power what 3 to power n this one is a so if we simplify more then we able to find out uh, in a more compact form but this one is a word this one is a large say expansion of uh, about the reason mod z minus 1 is less than 2 now we find the for second one for second one this one is a about first one mod z minus 1 is less than 2 now about second one how we find the about second one about second one what is the second reason second reason is a what here what is the second reason second reason as earlier we defined z minus 1 is a greater than 2 and less than 3 less than 3 means that the value of a z lie will be 2 and 3 so again here we write in this form 1 upon z minus 1 plus 2 and this one is a minus of a 1 upon z minus 1 plus 3 minus of a 1 upon z minus 1 plus 3 whole square so now what is our aim our aim is for binomial expansion make this term is a less than 1 so here z minus 1 by 3 is a what less than 1 but z minus 1 by 2 is a what greater than 1 so 2 upon z minus 1 is a what less than 1 so what is our aim here we write what 2 upon z minus 1 because 2 upon z minus 1 is a what less than 1 so this become here we write z minus 1 outside this become uh, 2 also so 1 plus twice upon 
z minus 1. This way, here, twice. This way, here. twice upon z minus 1. Why we write twice upon z minus 1? Because twice upon z minus 1 become what? Less than 1. And here, minus of 1 upon z minus 1 divided by 3 is less than 1. So, this one become thrice outside, 3 outside, then this become 1 plus z minus 1 by 3. Because mod of z by 3 is less than 1. This become 1 upon 9 and this become 1 plus z minus 1 by 3 outside. This square. So, now binomial expansion for this one, 1 upon z minus 1 outside, z minus 1 outside, inside, this one becomes summation, minus 1 to power n, by default this one is from n equals 0 to infinite. This become uh, twice upon z minus 1 to power n. And second one become what? Minus 1 by 3 outside, inside, summation, summation, what is the value for this one? The value for this become minus 1 to power n, z minus 1 by 3 to power what? n. This one is a minus 1 by 3. And last one is a what? Last one is a minus 1 upon 9, summation, minus 1 to power n, n plus 1, and z minus 1 divided by 3 to power what? n. This one is a large series expansion for the case second. And similarly, uh, we find a large series expansion for the case third. What is the case third? Case third is a third mod of a z minus 1 is a greater than 3. Mod of a z minus 1 is a greater than 3. So here, what are the changes here? Okay? For the binomial expansion, for the binomial expansion, if we closely observe, what is the value of mod z minus 1? Mod z minus 1 is greater than 3. So 2 upon mod of a z minus 1 is about less than 1. 3 upon mod of a z minus 1 is about less than 1. And 3 upon z minus 1 is also about 3 upon z minus 1 is also less than 1 because mod of a z minus 1 is a greater than 3. So here this become 1 upon twice, this become 1 plus, not a twice, 2 upon z minus 1. Here we try to write 2 upon z minus 1. So this become, if z minus 1 become outside, then this become 2 plus, uh, sorry, 2 plus, not 2 plus, 1 plus, 1 plus twice upon z minus 1. This one is the first term. Now second term, if we take a z minus 1 outside, then this becomes inside 1 plus thrice upon z minus 1, z minus 1. And last one is a minus 1 upon z minus 1 outside, z minus 1, the whole square, whole square of a z minus 1 outside, inside 1 plus 3 upon z minus 1 z minus 1 and this one is this square. So, if we expand this one binomially, now what is the value? Value become 1 upon z minus 1 outside summation and by default this was a word from n equals 0 to infinite. Now this become minus 1 to power n and this become twice upon z minus 1 to power n. This was your first term and second term become minus of Again, 1 upon z minus 1 outside and it's the inside. What will happen? Inside, this becomes summation minus 1 to power n, minus 1 to power n, 3 upon z minus 1 to power n. And last one becomes minus 1 upon z minus 1 square. And what is the value over this one? Summation minus 1 to power n n plus 1 and this becomes 3 upon 3 upon z minus 1 to power n. So this one is a large, uh, you may simplify this one and also a 
uh, in a more compact form by taking by combining these two terms. So this one is a what? This one is a Laurent series expansion for the case third. So there is a first anomalous series. The first reason is a mod of a z minus one is a less than two. Second reason is a mod of a z minus one is a greater than two but less than three. And third one is a mod of a z minus one is a greater than three. So these are the three reasons where we find what? Where we find the Laurent series expansion. If we closely observe, the first one is a what? At z equal one, function is a what? Function is a analytic. So first one is a what? First one is a Taylor series, Taylor parts. Because inside mod of a z minus one is a less than two, function is a what? Analytic everywhere in this region. Mod of a z minus one is a less than two. But second and third case is a what? Laurent series expansion. Because there is a two singular points, so then be able to find out a, at most two Laurent series expansion. So this one is all about this lecture. So in our next lecture, we discuss about the zeros, singularities and types of a singular points. Thank you. Thank you for watching my videos.